So in the previous video, we learned how to set up the swipe up animation to swipe the cards out of the screen and go into the next article. However, as we know, making something disappear isn't enough. We have to bring it back. So in this video, I'll show you how to create the swipe down animation, which brings the previous card into view. That'll complete the series for us. So let's begin. So we'll start from where we left off. We had created one position object, which is for the current card on the screen. Let's create another position object called this dot swiped card position, which will be the position of the card that has been swiped off the screen. So we'll say new animated dot value X, Y, X will be zero again. And Y will be minus of the screen height. So currently this card has a Y of zero and the height of the card is the screen height. If we want to move this card completely off the screen, we can move the Y position to the negative of this height so that the bottom of the card will coincide with the top of the screen. Now let's come to the render articles method here. So here what we're doing is if the card was a swiped out card, we were not displaying it and we were just returning null. If the card was a current card, we were attaching the pan responder to it and displaying that card. And for all the other cards, we were just re returning a view without the pan responder. But now what we want to do is if I is equal equal to this dot state dot current index minus one, that is, it is the card which is previous to this card, then we don't want to return null, but we want to return an animated view. So let's copy this animated view. which has a position of swipe card position, which we had created. So the card is there, but it will not be on the screen. It will be minus of the screen height. So it will be above here. And we want to make sure we return this. So let's put a return here. And then we'll change this if to an else if. So only if it's the previous card, show a card with a swipe out position. Otherwise, just return null because we're not bothered about the other cards. So now when you swipe the card out, that first card is still there on the screen, but we need to add the animation to bring it back when we swipe down. So let's do that now. So come to the on pan responder move method here. So what we were doing is we were just using this dot position dot set value and we were just setting the state to the position variable. But now what we want to do is we'll detect if the user was swiping down. So we'll say if gesture state dot dy is greater than zero, and end this dot state dot current index is also greater than zero. That means we have a previous card. Then we'll say this dot swiped card position dot set value. We always want the X to be zero and we want the Y position to be added to its current position. So the current position is screen height negative of the screen height plus the distance that the user scrolled. So it's gesture state dot dy. And we'll put this other part in an else. That is if the user swipes vertically, then just set the position on the active card. And I just missed a bracket here. So let's close that, save that out and test this out. So for the first card, when we swipe down, it moves the active card. We swipe this active card out. Now if we swipe down, Instead of moving the active card, it's moving the previous card onto the screen. Now, just like we did with the vertical scrolling, once we stop scrolling down, we want this card to either go back up if we haven't scrolled enough, or if we've scrolled enough, we want it to come down and replace the card that's there. So let's do that. So now come down to the on pan responder release method. Here above this, let's add another if statement, which first checks if this dot state dot current index is greater than zero. That means there is a previous card and then gesture state dot dy is greater than 50. That is the user has scrolled down vertically more than 50. And then again, we'll use this same time duration that we had used earlier. So we'll say gesture state dot vy is greater than 0 0.7. Then we want the card to come down completely in a nice animated way. So let's say animated dot timing Let's animate the swipe position. So swipe card position. Inside that we want the two value X zero and Y should become zero as well so that it comes on top of the current card. 
and the duration that we want is 400. Also, just like here, when we had scrolled up, we set the state of the current index to the next card. But now, since we're swiping down to a previous card, we want to set the state to a previous value. So we'll say, let's copy this from here. And instead of updating the current index to plus one, we'll say current index minus one. And here we'll reset the swiped card position back to the original position, which was minus of screen height. So now we have an if which checks if the user has uh, swiped down and there is a previous card. We'll make this an else if, and the last one is an else. So now let's test this out. If we scroll up, we're taken to the next screen. If we scroll down, we bring the previous card back and then we can scroll the card back up again. So as we can see, we're getting our previous card like we'd imagined, but there's one use case which we haven't taken care of. That is, if the user does not swipe fast enough or to a considerable distance, this card should go back. So here we had set the two value back to X of zero and Y of zero. Let's also add another animation here for the scrolling downward scenario. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll run these animations in parallel by saying animated.parallel. Inside this, let's move this animation there. Get rid of the start for now. Put in a comma here. Let's just copy this animation again. And here, instead of this dot position, we'll say this dot swipe card position. And the Y value should be the original position, which is minus screen height. And outside here, let's start this animation by putting in start. Now, if we refresh this and try this out, it should work. So if you swipe up, it works. If we swipe down, the card comes. But if we don't swipe enough, we see the card goes out of the screen again. So now we're complete with this series with our animation. I hope you guys like this. Please try this out.